question number six. What is the Landmaker equation and explain the sign convention used for radius of curvature. Okay. Uh, length maker equation is equal to 1 over f is equal to n minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 and you have a r r1 and r2 so for the r1 for convex mirror right for the convex surface this is convex surface this is the like this is the ray diagram from the object right so r here is a uh, r is a uh, positive but you have if you have the concave surface let's say this concave surface let's say this is a ray diagram from the object this is a concave surface yes so r here is a negative so this is uh, how you can use the sign of uh, r1 or r2 depends on type of surface for the convex surface is r uh, positive for the concave surface r is a negative uh, radius curvature if you look at the diagram for the convex mirror so they say this is a r and this is a radius curvature r and if you look at the con uh, concave mirror so this is the value of the radius r right? okay next question uh, figure 7 show a convergence length this is convergence length it's made of material refractive index and for the glass or lens is 2.26 one of the surface of the lens is plane so this is plane surface and other uh, is uh, the second surface is a radius curvature this is a uh, look at the from here this is a concave surface with radius curvature 14.5 and this means the focal length focal length of lens right so if you use the lens maker equation 1 over f is equal to uh, n minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 so the n here is an index fraction for the length or class this 2.26 and now what is the value of the r1 and r2 so if you look at for the r1 here they say this is r1 this is r1 and this is r2 so this is plane surface so the plane surface meaning r is a infinity and the second surface is a concave this is a concave surface r2 so concave surface is a negative so r2 is a negative and radius curvature is a 14.5 now you can find the value of the focal length is a 11.6 centimeter continue to the next question a uh, divergence length has focal length f this is we have a diverging let's say this is a divergence lens this is the principal axis the center an object is placed at position let's say you have a focal length here f and the object placed position 2f from the lens sketch level diagram so this means the characteristic of the image 
Well, the divergence length is easy for you to find the characteristic for the image because the characteristic for image divergence length is constant, not depends on the position of the object. Let's say from the question, the position of the object is 2f. Let's say this is f, so this is a uh, 2f u or object distance from the uh, lens. But for the divergence length, as I said, first is you can use the diagram to find the position of the image or characteristic. This is a first diagram and for divergence length is converse uh, uh, ray or diagrams and the second you continue ray diagram through the center optic center and this is a uh, no deflection or no reflection so now and the next you continue to find the position of the image by find the left the line here so this is the position of the image right position of the image so this is how you can use uh, the process that you can use using the right di uh, ray diagram to find the position of the image so this is the image and this is uh, v or image distance so the characteristic for the image here okay, is first is a visual image because the uh, same uh, in front of the uh, converging uh, lens divergence lens sorry and this is a uh, diminish because if you uh, compare the size is uh, image less than uh, size object or original object size and which will diminish and upright right because the same direction to the object direction of the image direction to the object no that's all